They came to the clinic as best they could, some with bent and twisted bodies, others suffering a lifetime of ailments and pains. The very old and the very young, all with one thing in common, the inability to walk. I told her, go there, let's try it. Maybe they give us a chair. So that's how we came. Little Caroline Palomino contracted a virus from a parrot six years ago. Her legs don't work, neither does her mind. Provo Rotary Club President Dean Jackson lifted Caroline into a specially made wheelchair designed to bring mobility to her and relief to her parents. We used to be suffering a lot carrying you know, our baby to take her out, but with wheelchair now we, we can take her whatever we want. The wheelchairs cost about $150 each plus the cost of shipping from China to Peru. That amounts to about a month's salary for most of these people, something they could never afford on their own. Leaders of the Utah-based Hope Alliance consider Iquitos, Peru, one of the most remote locations in the world for wheelchair delivery. They ship 300 of these specially designed wheelchairs from a factory in China across the ocean and up the Amazon River. It took most of the night, but the crews worked like little soldier ants to get everything set up. We're here and uh, it's just going to be great. And tomorrow when we hand them out, it's just going to be a phenomenal day. The sunrise over the Amazon brought a wave of moto taxis to the clinic in Iquitos. Men, women, and children, all hoping for something to make their lives better. I talked to some of the individuals that are here today, and they said that they've been waiting almost five or six years for a wheelchair. That means that a mother or father has been carrying around that child and giving complete independence. They've been giving that up because they've been dedicating their life to that child. And I think that's so neat because the wheelchair really is more of a freedom in that way. With tears in their eyes, the volunteers gave away 280 of the wheelchairs, watching despair turn into new hope. Robert Walls, ABC4 News, Aquitos, Peru.